So, how exponential is your organization? A great place to start before you're looking to become exponential is to see where you're at right now. Hey, I'm John Harris, and welcome to another episode of Exponential Radio. And we're talking all things about measuring where you're at now, the, the quotient. So, your company, what kind of quotient of exponentiality does it have? So, let's just start out with human resource and assets. And what we're trying to work out here is how much. You've got to ask yourself these questions. And as we go around and look at the different points, different issues, you can measure yourself and see um, how far you're down the road to becoming uh, exponential. How digitized are you? And the other question is you, you need to look at this in a context of us not going too deep in it today. So obviously we can look at these independently, these questions, and uh, this kind of a survey and see that quotient value uh, in more depth in another, in, in another episode. Human resources and, and assets, how, how much of it, for example, your, 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 your human resources are full-time V um, contract workers? And how, how do you leverage uh, resources, external resources? Um, to, how much of that do you do in, in, in a normal production of business within your, your, your company right now? So you've got to figure out, are you fully... Uh, sourced with, with staff internally and do you own everything or, or how much is external? And you can use a measurement, a basic measurement out of 1 to 5, 1 to 10 on these things. This is just going to give you an overview. So the next one is community and crowd. And, you know, how do you manage that interaction uh, with, with, with your, your community and your crowd? And how do you actually engage? So your, your community... Uh, you have the whole, uh, you know, crowd out there and you want to build a community and how are you going to go from your core team to, to actually communicate and engage with, with that community. Further to that, um, that actual engagement of, of crowd to community, um, you know, how do you, you convert them? So do you do gamification? Uh, are you doing uh, some kind of uh, competitions? Various aspects that you can, things that you can take and you can utilize to get more uh, interaction. These things you need to measure and you need to see how, you, how well you're doing at the moment. Next is in the engagement itself. Um, what extent of the product, uh, you know, your service is information based? So, um, you know, we've spoken about this before, whether you even got a physical product, is there a portion of that that is digitized? Your autonomous cars, obviously they're using the ability to drive uh, independently and also things like with maps and etc. So you can digitize, you don't have to digitize the whole service, the whole product, there can be a portion of it that is digitized. And you know, what is that social function? How, how, are, you, how are you socializing into your, your product and service and making it more social? Next point we wanna look at is algorithms. And you know, use of algorithms is, is, is obviously critical when you're looking at an exponential organization. You need to measure yourself on how much machine learning is there going uh, in the company? And, you know, do you use that machine learning and, and those facts uh, based to, to make decisions? Um, do you share that data internally and externally, or do you hold on to it in, in, in a non-abundance mindset, in, in something in scarcity, something with scarcity? Um, so these, these are things that you need to be looking at, thinking about, and seeing how you can measure. Um, the next thing we sort of speak about is interface, the interfaces. How do you manage that extern those externalities? Remember, we've spoken about staff on demand. Um, we've spoken about community and crowd algorithms, leveraged assets, and engagement as our externalities. And how are you managing those? Um, uh, do you have a rep replicable process, something that you can replicate? And is it outside the organisation or your, your part of, that part of your organisation which is perhaps more traditional? Do you have it on the edge, on the outside of that? The next thing we look at is dashboards, and um, you know these are going to give you your metrics, and the, 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 you can track things in real time, which is critically important, especially for reiterations of a of a digital product. And are you measuring people in with OKRs, or do you still do the more traditional KPIs, or is there another method of measuring your staff performance and the company performance? So how are you doing that? Lastly, well, not lastly, number eight, we want to talk about ex experimentation which is part of that uh, externalities, and are you A-B testing everything? Uh, 
Um, do you have you know specific feedback loops for specific areas and specific things issues that you want to look at? Um, do you are you an organisation that will tolerate failure? A lot of these things are cultural differences as to what's happening in in, in most traditional businesses. And uh, you know, are you prepared to do risk taking? Because without destroying the whole organisation, you need to do this in a managed fashion, and you need to do this in order to become uh, a more more of a, a, a exponential organisation, something that is is looking to change things. Uh, obviously, we've spoken about the fact that most businesses are designed to resist change. And number nine, we're looking at autonomy, and you, you, this is more of the internal, uh, 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 you know, uh, sort of uh, attributes that we're speaking about right now. So the autonomy is hierarchical. Um, are you that way still inclined, or have you got small teams, small uh, world-class teams that are actually working together, but they have that ability for decision makings within those teams to, to, to obviously to a specific level? And uh, how are you managing that? And lastly, we're talking about social. That you know, when we spoke about on the internal side, we we we're looking at um, interface dashboards, autonomy, experimentation, and social. And this is the last of those. So, do you have specific um, technologies that perhaps you're using? Are you using internally things like Slack? There's many of these different types of uh, technologies you can use. And are you using externalities uh, for for your customers to come to on your within the platform, the ecosystem, things like Discord, etc.? So these are some of the things you can look at. And let me just uh, mention that just to go over those that you can think about. One was the HR and assets. Other one is the community and crowd. The other one is how you engage in the community crowd, and um, how much of your product is actually information based, and your services are information based. Out, are you utilizing algorithms? Do you have interfaces that connect suppliers, cust partners, customers, etc.? Do you have dashboards and internal dashboards for metrics? Um, do you have experimentation going on on the edge of your company? You, are you, have you got autonomy? Do you have teams that are autonomous that can actually do things, perhaps crazy things that are seen as totally crazy today, but maybe of great value tomorrow? And are you social as far as utilizing tools both internally and externally? So this has been a little bit about your exponential quotient to try and figure out how exponential you are right now. And we'll start to delve into some of these in more detail uh, in the future. But as usual, I hope you have a great day. It's John Harris from Exponential Radio. And uh, we'll get back to you. If you want to see some more of our, our past episodes, go to johnarthaharris.blogspot.com. And we've got uh, some news coming up. We have uh, a new website that's going to be launched very soon. We will send you for further information. Until next time, have a great day.